Baloo, come here. Baloo. Is he pooping? There you go, come here. Baloo. Good boy. So the question is, is can you breed a pocket to a standard? You can spit in my eye, dude. Look at Baloo's pep uh, babies, even though they're not his babies, but they his babies. And look at the size. When Baloo was about five months old, he was this big, people. He was like this big. You ever hear them talk about top part and bottom part of a pedigree? On Zara's top part, AKA what I call her father, she uh, has XL genetics that are in her. Now, genetics meaning I have to bet on what's in her and bring it out. I gotta pull it out. Double down on it even if I want them to get bigger, which I don't. But I was betting that she would correct shoulder set along with give the dogs a fighting chance. And no, we don't fight dogs. I'm just saying uh, uh, the opportunity to be athletic and perform at a high level, at least live up to my expectations. Blue, as we know, can't do anything. And look at his son, already his height. And the dogs are not even six months old. So how big do you think the dogs are going to get? I'll give you a rough estimate. They should all be anywhere from 17 to 18 inches. Baloo's roughly 15 inches tall tops. He's definitely under 16 inches. And he's he's not over 17 inches. All the dogs should be anywhere from, again, 17, 18, potentially 19 inches. Might be pushing it. But Bam Bam could get there. We'll know within the next six to nine months. What is the word, I believe, when you, uh, what cells that break down? Dogs basically ripping itself apart and growing for the first year. I think that's called mitosis or meiosis. Can't think straight right now. I'm on a on the 24-hour bender because right now you know we've got pups and the brain is fried. Plus, we still gotta take care of the dogs. So I asked your Marcus to come out here and help get them warmed up. Record a few things, spend a little time outdoors. I said, you know what, let's go get blue and talk a little bit about blue and just see how the pups fare in comparison. When I took what you guys call a pocket to a standard pocket to a standard I wasn't trying to create more pockets I wasn't trying to create more standards I was trying to create a better dog because blues assembly is off a lot of the pockets assembly is off a lot of you guys like that short neck I know turn around you yeah, yeah, like hey blue you like this huh what can I do for you brother this way huh that's that's y'all like a dog with no neck I don't like a dog with no neck. I need blue. And he don't listen. Bam Bam. Look at Bam Bam's face. And you call your dog's name doesn't mean there's a name. Bam Bam, come here. Good boy. Blue's a jealous dude too. Look at this dude. Look at this dude, Blue. He trying to, we gonna move him out the way. He gonna move him out the way. Say, you don't deserve that. Femur to all the ratio needs to be the same. Chris Moore talked to with us about that. It's in one of the books. The book I believe is called Breeding a Show Dog. I will get the book at some point in time. It's a sixty dollar book I believe on Amazon. I got sixty, but we spent a lot of money here right now, and we have two litters in forty eight hours. Seventeen fifty a piece to almost two racks. So that's just under four thousand dollars in a 96 hours to be clear when i bred blue again i wanted some of his features so the dogs kind of look like him over time they'll take on some of his features they've got his eye color thing he's got those eyes but for the most part i was trying to breed a better dog i have no interest in breeding xl standards or pockets my job is to answer the question that i posed on the board is your dog a good dog and can you share that dog with the world and the world, the bully world, I, I mean, I help. I try my best to put out things that would benefit you guys. But also, I'm not interested in um, the lack of camaraderie and community. Camaraderie and community, even though this is a good community. I think it's a good community. Super competitive for all the wrong reasons. None of my business. I don't participate in it. We're here to highlight what dogs can do and how to make dogs better dogs and people better owners so let's look at blue from a performance standpoint and we'll close this video out ah, move 
Watch this pipes. Watch this people. Oh, she's slapping all over this. Thing. Chacha, you almost got it. <laughs> Blue has a lot of bad behaviors too. Look at this guy. Oh, you almost got it too. Oh. Blue's epigenetic traits I don't like either. Look, see how dog driven he is? <laughs> Bam said, oh, that's the way. See that right there, people? I love dogs that think and figure things out and are willing to try. Baloo was never gonna try anything. The hardest thing you could ever do is try to get him to even go on a walk. Jamarcus did a good job. I know Hunter does a decent job. When I say decent, I mean he does a good job too because he's got more patience. I literally put him in Hunter's possession because I couldn't deal with Baloo's lack of effort. And believe it or not, there are dogs like humans that just don't want to do nothing. They literally. And you're like, hey buddy, come on. He'd be like this. <clears throat> you're going to feed me either way, so I ain't got to do nothing you say. But lose that dog. So I'm excited to see their progress. I bet on your female. But remember that in my experience, females contribute to the performance side of your dogs and their overall well-being. Performance for us is everything. We're not judging head size, how tall the dogs are, or how much they weigh. If I send one of my dogs after you, it'll stop you. It won't kill you, but it'll stop you. <laughs> it'll definitely put, put a halt to your action. Look at Baloo's shoulder set. I don't like that. So we raised his shoulders up, corrected him. Zara has more upright shoulders. She gives you a big chest when she stands, especially when she's in a state of flexion and flexing. Baloo's got a high rear due to angulation and his shoulders sit forward. So what we had to do, so many things. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs. We got a lot more stuff to show you. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, subscribe, and please share.